air flight is one of the safest ways to travel between destinations, but that doesn't mean that, on occasions, things don't go wrong. Thankfully, fatal incidents are relatively rare, but you might be surprised at just how often it's only down to the quick thinking of the pilot that prevents serious casualties. Buckle your seatbelts and prepare for the pre-flight checks, because in this video we're taking a look at 15 near-miss plane collisions. Number 15. Touch and go at Buttonville Airport Due to the nature of the space needed for an airport, it's quite common for highways to run quite close to the end of a runway beyond the airport perimeter, and this often results in low-flying planes crossing over the traffic. Even when things are going to plan, this can be a heart-in-mouth moment, but in March of 2019, drivers were in for a really close call. A small aircraft had just taken off from Buttonville Airport in Canada when it suffered from a control systems failure. It began to plummet back towards the ground, and the pilot was lucky to be able to keep enough momentum to pass over the nearby road before crashing into a fence, then a ditch. Video footage caught from dash cams showed just how near it came to hitting vehicles, and it was only a matter of chance that meant a catastrophic accident didn't take place. While the plane did eventually hit the ground just north of the airport, neither the pilot nor his student were injured. They both walked free of the wreckage, and were able to count their blessings that on this occasion, they managed to get away with their lives. Number 14. Driving Across the Runway Airports are incredibly busy places, where it's not only the planes that use the tarmac, but a variety of different vehicles, too. Airport staff need to be transported around, baggage needs to be collected and delivered to aircraft, and passengers are often taken between planes and the terminal on buses. It takes an extraordinary amount of planning and oversight to ensure that this happens seamlessly without any accidents, but the moment someone takes their eye off the ball, things can get frighteningly close. This footage, which is from a runway in Branson, Missouri, was recorded in June of 2018. An American airline flight with 50 passengers and three crew members aboard were preparing for a flight. At the same time, a van with three airport employees in it had found itself on the wrong side of the runway, and the passengers were running late for an employee picnic. For some reason, they didn't see any need to wait and just drove across the runway as quickly as they could. As you can see, had they just been a few moments later, it would have almost certainly caused a fatal accident. Because within seconds, the Embraer 145 accelerates along the runway to take off. In the following investigation, those in the van confirmed that the driver had, in fact, been given permission to cross the runway by air traffic control. But for some reason, he forgot to look both ways before moving. And had he done, he said there was no way he would have knowingly taken such a risk. Number 13. Air Canada Flight 759 In July of 2017, just after the sun had set, Air Canada Flight 759 was approaching San Francisco International Airport. It had been given clearance to land on runway 28 right, and was making its final approach to do so. But something went terribly wrong. Instead of lining up with the runway, the crew instead lined up with the parallel taxiway, and in their path were four other jets, fully loaded with passengers and fuel, that were waiting for their turn to take off. The pilot of the Air Canada flight realized the mistake just in time and initiated a go-around, but it was only in the aftermath that authorities realized just how close this was to being a fatal incident. The plane had descended to a height of 59 feet before attempting to climb again, and this meant that it only cleared the first jet on the taxiway by 14 feet. Most of the blame was attributed to the Air Canada crew who had opted to not use the instrument landing system and were fatigued after a long flight. Experienced pilots who witnessed the event firsthand said that if the plane hadn't pulled up, it would have potentially caused the worst aviation disaster in history, considering it would have involved five planes and risked the lives of more than a thousand people. Number 12. UT Air 767 Landing at Barcelona Airport Possibly the most frightening-looking near-miss to have ever been caught on camera took place at El Prat Airport in Barcelona in 2014. As you will see from the footage, the UT Air Boeing 767 with 260 passengers on board was making its final approach to land when it was forced to abort and perform an emergency go-around procedure because there was an Airbus A340 in the way. In the aftermath, it appeared as if the incident had occurred because of a failure in communication from air traffic control. They had authorized the 767 to land, but also for the A340 to be taxied across the runway in preparation to take off, and for some reason, air traffic control went completely silent and then wouldn't respond to either pilot when they called for assistance. The quick-thinking 767 pilot is all that prevented this from ending in disaster, and he was forced to fly back up into the air, despite not yet having authorization from air traffic control. 
He did, of course, make the precisely right call, and in the wake of this accident, the airport was forced to completely overhaul its operating procedures. Number 11. Close Call with a Micro Light When you're flying a small aircraft, you can never be sure what else you might be sharing the sky with. In many ways, it's like driving a car, where you have to be prepared for other cars, but also pedestrians, bikes, and a wide range of other hazards. This footage was recorded from a PA-28 light aircraft in the UK in 2015 and shows a scary near miss that had it not been averted would have surely caused at least three deaths. The pilot is taking a passenger for a sightseeing tour and the plane's at an altitude of around 13,000 feet, but she suddenly points out a micro light that begins to appear on the right side of the window and then lurches towards the plane. The pilot manages to dip the plane to avoid the collision, but if you were in this situation, who do you think is to blame for the incident? In the following investigation, the authority responsible for investigating near misses classified this as a Category A, which is the highest level of risk an incident can be without actually causing a collision. They said, however, that neither pilot was responsible. Normally, the right of way should have been given to the micro light, but because of the way it was contrasted with the background terrain, it was virtually impossible to see from the PA-28. The regulator said that since it's impossible to give way to something that you cannot see, the pilot acted with the best intentions he could have done. Number 10. Snapped Cable An experienced pilot will tell you that the most dangerous place to land a plane is on an aircraft carrier. Not only do you have to contend with a short platform to come to a full stop, but you also have to account for the rise and fall of the carrier on the ocean's waves. To make things easier, cables are stretched out across the flight deck to help catch the aircraft and decelerate. But this footage recorded in 2016 shows how dangerous things can be if just one element goes wrong. An E-2 Hawkeye is approaching the USS Eisenhower, and at first everything is going to plan. The plane touches down and is caught by the cable, but while it's slowing down, the cable snaps and shoots through the air towards the superstructure of the carrier. This alone severely injured eight crew members, but the danger wasn't over. The Hawkeye continued along the flight deck and fell off the end, with everyone looking on in horror at what must have happened to the flight crew. Amazingly, though, they had managed to maintain enough momentum that they could throttle up and return to the sky. It was finally able to circle around and land, and according to people there at the time, it was so close that the landing gears and lower parts of the fuselage were dripping with salt water. Number 9. Aborted Takeoff With so many flights usually taking off and landing from airports around the world every day, pilots have to be fast thinking and on the ball to ensure that each maneuver is performed correctly. Just one wrong move can risk the lives of everyone on board, but this doesn't mean that mistakes don't happen. This footage was recorded at the main airport in Frankfurt in 2016. It shows a Royal Moroccan airline plane about to take off, but the pilot hasn't quite picked up enough speed. By the time he begins to lift the nose up, there's nowhere near the momentum he needs to generate lift, and very nearly smashes the rear end of the jet onto the tarmac. It eventually lifts up a little, but then stalls and returns to the ground, but the pilot isn't finished there and continues to try to accelerate. Fortunately for everyone, he manages to successfully get airborne without any further incident, but experts were confused about how this could have even happened. The main theory is that there could have been an incorrect flap setting, but everyone agrees that in a situation like that, the best thing to do is to abort the takeoff, bring the plane to a full stop, and try all over again. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Norwegian F-16 vs. Russian MiG Fighter jets are responsible for patrolling the national boundaries and to prevent enemy jets from entering their airspace. But sometimes what's usually seen as a game playing between neighboring nations can become extremely dangerous. It's not too uncommon for Russian jets to buzz by the territory of European countries, and similarly NATO planes regularly patrol to fend them off. In late 2014, a Norwegian F-16 was sent after a Russian MiG that had entered the country's airspace and began tracking the unwelcome guest. He suddenly is forced to take evasive action, however, when the Russian MiG cuts in front of him and slows down. The pilot can be heard shouting out in amazement at the risky move made by the MiG, which saw the two jets come within 60 feet of one another. Had it not been for the quick reactions of the Norwegian pilot, it could quite easily have ended in a collision, and there are fears that this outcome is becoming more likely. Russian flybys like this are increasing in frequency, and the pilots are flying more aggressively. Who knows how competing nations would react if a deadly incident did take place? We can only hope that we never have to find out. Number 7. Flying a Drone in Vegas 
Rules on where you can fly a drone are incredibly strict, not only to prevent owners from disturbing the peace, but more importantly, they prevent them from making contact with other vehicles in the air. Airport airspace is highly restricted, and you're not allowed to fly a drone anywhere near one, because this is where aircraft are at their lowest altitude, and this video shows exactly why. It was recorded by a drone's onboard camera after taking off in Las Vegas, and flies treacherously close to the airport. It ends up above a plane that's coming into land, and very nearly hits it. Even if the pilot thought he had a control of the drone, there are other factors that make this extremely risky, the most important of which is the air turbulence caused by the engines, and the chance that something like a drone could be sucked in. This would certainly cause catastrophic damage, and would risk the lives of every passenger. When this footage was made public, the FAA started an investigation to find out who the drone pilot was, because they had broken a number of laws by flying so high and so close to a designated flight path. Number 6. Landing in a Crosswind One of the most difficult times to land on a runway at an airport is when there's a strong crosswind, and there are countless videos of wobbly planes on an approach that manage to make a safe touchdown. It's during these moments that pilots truly earn their paychecks, because despite the extensive training they have, it's down to their instincts to safely keep control of the aircraft. Footage which was recorded in March of 2008 shows just how risky this can be, as a Lufthansa Airbus A320 made its approach at Hamburg Airport. It starts wobbling a lot, and as it gets closer to the tarmac, the wings clearly strike the ground. Luckily, no one was hurt, and the plane didn't suffer any damage, so the pilots were able to initiate a go-around and safely land on another runway. On this occasion, it wasn't the pilot's fault, however, and it was their quick thinking that prevented a worse problem. The subsequent investigation found that one of the onboard systems that automatically triggers the jet from a flight mode to ground mode had activated when just one of the landing gears had made contact with the runway. This caused a loss of control that led to the wing strike, and has now been reprogrammed to only engage once the aircraft has fully made contact with the tarmac. Number 5. Another Plane in the Blind Spot When you're driving a car, it's important to be aware of any blind spots and to check them before you make a maneuver that might impact any vehicle that you're not able to see. This is fairly simple to do, but when you're flying an aircraft, there are many more areas around you that you can't actually physically see. Normally, it's quite rare for planes to fly too close to each other, so you wouldn't usually expect for one to be up close and personal and obscured from view, but this video shows that it's more than possible. The pilot of this Cessna 172 is making the final approach to a runway. But as they line up, another aircraft comes down in front, no more than 50 feet away. Luckily, the Cessna pilot has enough time to steer away from any potential collision, and is forced to circle around and try the approach again. It seems almost impossible that neither pilot had seen the other plane, but if one had been flying almost directly above the other, there's no way they would have been able to. Had either of the planes been in a slightly different position, it would have been far too late to prevent an accident when the other one descends to land. And it's proof that the only time you can ever let your guard down when flying a small aircraft is when it comes to a full stop in the airport at a distance away from the active runway. Number 4. A Backup Runway Sometimes an emergency may happen on board an aircraft, and despite the pilot's best attempts, there's simply no way they can reach an airport to land on the runway. In these cases, they're left to scout the area for a suitable alternative, and one of the most logical choices is a highway so long as there's not much traffic on it. Recorded in 2009, this footage shows what happened when Kyle Davis and his passenger were flying to Lakeland in Florida. They suffered an engine failure, which caused the propeller to stall, and he had no choice but to attempt a landing on a three-lane street to avoid crashing into any buildings. While Davis calmly brought the plane down, it must have been a nervous time, because there were still plenty of cars on the road, some of which were traveling in the opposite direction. It was only when the plane had come to a stop on the street that those on board were able to look out and see what damage had been caused, but to their relief, no one had been hurt. He was able to pull the plane into a nearby parking lot to clear the street for its normal users. It says that it was a combination of his experience along with a huge dose of luck that meant nothing more serious happened. Number 3. Almost Hit by a UFO People seem to record virtually everything on their phones these days, even the views out of windows on a plane. While this may normally result in dull footage, it's a good job that a passenger on a Singapore Airlines flight in January of 2021 was doing this, because as they were making the approach to land in Zurich, Switzerland, they caught an image of a strange object. 
The video begins by showing the stunning vistas of the country with its lakes and fields. But as the plane banks to the right, a white object can be seen shooting across the sky beneath the flight path. Despite having forensic experts look at the video, it's impossible to say what it is for sure, and it's been officially designated as an unidentified flying object. There's a good chance that it was a significant size too, so if the plane had been flying much lower, it could have collided with it and could have very easily caused a deadly accident. Luckily, on this occasion, the flight landed at the airport on schedule and most passengers were none the wiser. But with continually increasing air traffic, there are some experts who think it's only a matter of time before a passenger plane will collide with a UFO object like this, and the results will likely be catastrophic. Number 2. Bird Strike There are a number of different hazards that pilots have to be aware of, especially when leaving or approaching an airport. At such low altitudes, they may encounter man-made objects in the sky, but one of the biggest risks are birds. We often hear of stories where a bird has struck the windscreen of a cockpit or been caught in a plane's engine, but very rarely is it ever caught on camera. This footage was recorded in 2007 as a Thompson Fly Boeing 757 was leaving Manchester Airport in the UK. It shows just how damaging birds can truly be to such large aircraft. You can see shadows next to it as it gains altitude, and then suddenly one of them is sucked into the engine, and flames start to appear. With alarms sounding in the cockpit, the pilot immediately shut the engine down, dumped the excess fuel, and sent out a distress call as he turned the plane around to land back at the airport. No one on board was injured, but engineers were concerned about the damage that was caused to the engine. They are supposed to be designed to endure a bird strike like this, but when they investigated further, they found out why. It wasn't just one bird that had actually been sucked in, but two, and they were both adult herons that were particularly large. To prevent any chance of this happening again at the airport, wetland areas have been filled in and moved to other sites, so hopefully the local heron population can also live in peace without the fear of meeting the same unfortunate fate. Number 1. Plane Chasing the Skydiver Sometimes there's nothing quite like the adrenaline kick of an extreme sport, and skydiving is one of the most popular worldwide. It's surprisingly safe considering it involves jumping out of a plane at altitude. But if people begin to behave in erratic ways, then the sport can become a whole lot more dangerous. It's quite common for a pilot to nosedive back towards the ground after the skydivers have left, because this enables them to get back to the runway to conserve fuel and also pick up the next group of daredevils. Of course, they're meant to ensure that people are well clear of the plane before they do this, because if they don't, they risk a fatal collision. This footage, which was recorded by a skydiving instructor in 2015, shows just how terrifying this mistake can be. After jumping from the plane with a tandem passenger, they begin at first to whoop with excitement, but this soon becomes sounds of concern as they realize the plane they had just left now appeared to be heading directly towards them. It gets so close that its wing actually brushes over their drogue chute, and it's lucky that it didn't become tangled. Whether by luck or some higher power, the plane then veers off away in the other direction without causing any damage to them or the parachute, and they're able to continue their descent safely back to the ground. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.